weeping in the name of Jesus. For unto us was the gospel preached as well as unto them that the word of God that was preached did not profit them, not be missed with faith in them that had it. Lord, tonight, as your word comes to us again, give up the grace to receive your word, the grace to mix the word with faith. Lord, that the word tonight will profit us, O God. We ask, O God, that the word tonight, in this month of the world, let your word profit us. Help us to be doers of your word, not just only hearers. As your word comes tonight, O God, we receive the grace to apply the word in our lives. In the name of Jesus. Lord tonight, we ask for your presence in the service. If your presence does not come with us, do not take us hands. We make demands for your manifest presence, O God, in this service. Let your presence be tangible, be palpable, be feelable in this service, O God. Lord tonight, we make demands again on your manifest presence in the name of Jesus. My home shall my head shall thou anoint with the home of a unicorn, that, that, that I shall be another refresh oil. Lord tonight, again, we commit your servant tonight into your hands we ask oh god you will anoint him again tonight my heart that i am exalt and the horn of a unicorn i shall be another with fresh oil lord again tonight we ask that you i am much your servant tonight let your hand be upon him tonight lord lay your hands on him fill him again with fresh oil in the name of jesus let no one that comes in here tonight go home the same lord we make demands on your power to heal every sickness let there be healing of every pain every arthritis every pain that will come here tonight oh god every affliction be here tonight in the name of jesus thank you for that for the answer prayers we'll give you all the praise we'll give you all the glory in jesus name we pray you believe our prayers have been answered jump those hands for jesus make it bigger and louder i know you came here with a testimony a minister is at the entrance of the glory with it for you as you go and show our testimony with Jesus joy we make come we make welcome the praise him our hands for Jesus make it bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger hallelujah enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his court with praise be thankful unto him and bless his name for the Lord is good the Lord is gracious the Lord is merciful oh how loving our father is Oh, how faithful God has been to you. He has pulled us many times from the verge of danger. Oh, somebody went those beautiful hands to the King of Kings, to the preserver of your lives and destinies. Let it burst forth from your within. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus.
Yeah.
your hands all ye people shout unto the Lord with a voice of triumph hallelujah please you may be seated God bless you tonight we have a sister who is a beneficiary of God's acts upon this mountain and she has returned all the way from the UK to give God praise can we put our hands together very quickly as we make welcome Mrs. Irene H. Bassi for her testimony. Do it better for the King of Kings. You know you are next in line for a testimony. Hallelujah. Keep clapping. You know you are next in line. Do it better for the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Please come forward. Hallelujah. You tell us your name very quickly, straight to the point, what the Lord did for you. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. It is a privilege to be here tonight in this fire altar. Please bear with me. I'm very nervous. I've never spoken in a crowd like this. I, first and foremost, I want to thank God for his mercies for his faithfulness. I left my country, Nigeria, in 2001 to the UK. Everything was moving in a speed, acceleration, beyond my imagination. But all of a sudden, 2020, 2002, everything was granted to a halt. And I prayed, I did all I could possibly did. Nothing was working anymore. Fast forward to 2002, 2018. In the dream of the night, I had an encounter. I have never heard of Dunamis. I've never known anybody that attended this church. Then my younger sister, Otobon, came to me and said, Sister, mommy is dead. Where are you taking us to? Where are you leading us? I said, no. I will not take the place of my elder sister. You go ahead and ask them what to do. And then we said, no, this is not a matter of elder sister. You tell us where we are going. 
So in the dream of that night, we took a joining, but I discovered that it wasn't in the UK, it was in here in Nigeria, but I don't know the precise place. In that dream of the night, we were looking for a church, looking for a church. All of a sudden, I said to her, please, come, let's go home. We can't find anything. And then as I turned, I behold a building. A, a fire that I've never seen in my life was burning right inside the building and outside the building. And the flame was going towards the heavens. And we were in awe of it. And I, 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 I couldn't say anything. I just looked at the building. I said, what is it? Standing there, I was thinking that the building was going to come down with the intensity of that fire. And what happened was that all of a sudden, I saw a finger writing D-U-M-I-S-E. I said, what is that? Dunamis. I've never heard of Dunamis. I don't know what is it. When I opened my eyes, it was three in the midnight. So I quickly Googled, and I found out that it was in Abuja. And I said to myself, I can't go to Abuja, Nigeria. I am in the UK. So I, in the morning, as early as 9 o'clock, I put a call through, and somebody picked by name Pastor Sunday. And I asked him. He said, I will check for you. I said, Second thought, I said, no, don't worry, I will Google. When I Google, I discovered that there was a location at East Ham. Early in the morning, Saturday, I entered the train, found my way to East Ham to locate the church. Wow. That was how I started. I established myself in that church, did my foundation, maturity class in East Ham, and established myself in the department that was how God was leading me. Before then, all my documents that I brought from Nigeria, they've stolen it. My time, my visa has run out. I didn't know what to do. I was paying lawyers here and there, 2,000 pounds, 2,050, all manners, but nobody could help me. Fast forward to 2022, in a communion service like this, I came back from work, and I logged in to Dunamis, YouTube. And the God's servant, the service was drawing to a close. And God's servant has already declared a, 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 the grace. And then he stepped out, out of the pulpit and said, you are living in Europe illegally. That is not the will of God for you. Take your indefinite leave to remain. I just said, amen. Because I've tried all I could. There was no way. Because I didn't have no single document to back up my application. After that declaration, you know, I've lost contact with my lawyer, my phone number, everything was gone. And then suddenly, I, dis I, dis I discovered that I had my phone, the other phone with my diary. And I placed a call to the lawyer. When the lawyer heard my voice, the man sat down in a video call in a shopping center and said, Irene, where have you been? The government has granted you indefinite leave to remain. She's been in the UK since when? Two, 2001, sir. After 23 years of living in the UK, literally without paper or illegally, under a few months of contact life changed what kind of God are we serving will you stand up on your feet people hallelujah and um, I was given my indefinite leave to remain and the government paid me some money for that struggling that they put me through I wouldn't go into that government paid. fast forward to 2022 um I was Please sleeping in the dream of the night. There's this woman always wearing rack around her waist, stepping to my house after I finished prayer. And it did like this and put her finger here on my shoulder. When I woke up in the morning, I was impacted with chest pain, very terrible chest pain. Then I was losing my strength, losing waist, weight rather. And I, I prayed. Thanks be to God, it was that from August of 2023. 
I went to the hospital. I called an ambulance. Pardon, I beg your pardon. Went to the hospital. There was nothing found. I came back. That was when the God's servant announced the commanding the day midnight prayer. And one of those days, the Lord's servant said, there's somebody here with a chest pain in the left hand side. Right now, I command that demonic chest pain, check back to hell. I woke up in the morning, vamos. Praise the Lord. Then finally, I walk in a place that I'm in encounter with people daily. And one of those nights, daily, somebody came and injected me. And when that injector was given to me, I woke up with a terrible, terrible mouth odor that I've never had in my life. I was ashamed, I isolated myself. And one of the commanding the day, the Lord's servant said, he said, there is somebody with terrible, some people in, the, in this commanding the day, you have a terrible mouth odor that make people not associated with you. He said, before you wake up in the morning, your mouth, your breath will be like a baby smell. My brothers and sisters, I woke up in the morning and my mouth was my goodness. I can't explain. I want to say... Stand on your feet now. That is one person that took like three or four people's testimonies. Let's celebrate the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Go, 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 go. Uh seated hallelujah what a mighty God we serve I believe that God is set for somebody's lifting today in the name of Jesus Christ one person multiple testimonies one person seek sought out God's presence located it and started going there a train distance away from her and God transformed her life and destiny on all fronts today God is about to give somebody a divine visitation in the mighty name of Jesus. And if you are watching from the United Kingdom, this is a testimony, coincidentally it wasn't planned, a testimony from the United Kingdom of a life transformed, of a destiny transformed. Jesus is about to give you an encounter right there in the name of Jesus. Invite your friends, invite your loved ones, and you won't be the same in the name of Jesus Christ. For the brevity of time, we'll just go right ahead, receive the ministry of Dunamis Voice. They'll be ministering a medley of songs. These are all songs received and written by God's servant, Dr. Pastor Paul Enenche. As a singer minister, I believe you'll be blessed in the name of Jesus Christ. Anybody excited to be here tonight? Give Jesus a big clap and a shout of praise. Hallelujah.
lift your voice and let's appreciate the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. Father, we give you the praise. Father, we give you the honor. Father, we give you the adoration. Blessed be your name. Adoration to your name. Breathe upon this word tonight. Let not one person remain the same. In Jesus' precious name. Somebody say a loud amen. Anybody bless you tonight, say a loud amen. Give the Lord a clap before you sit down. Shake three hands and welcome them to the presence of the Lord. And you might be seated in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. here tonight in the precious name of Jesus. I also welcome those watching from the United Kingdom. Our conference starts tomorrow. Don't be afraid that if the conference starts tomorrow, why is Pastor still in Nigeria today? Don't worry. The most important thing is for us to be in the conference. <laughs> Hallelujah. John chapter 1, verse 1 all the way to verse 5. In the beginning, was the word and the word was with God and the word was God the same was in the beginning with God all things were made by him and without him was not anything made that was made in him was life and the life was the light of man and the light shineth in darkness and the darkness comprehended it not. The Lord bless his word in Jesus' name. Tonight I speak on the subject, the word of God, dash, what it is, what it is. Our objective, just like it stated, is understanding what the word of God is. What is the word of God about? It's important to note that understanding is one of the greatest assets of life. Understanding. That was why the Bible said in Ecclesiastes Proverbs chapter 4 verse 7 Wisdom is a principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. And with all thy getting, get understanding. With all your money, with all your contacts, with all your titles, get understanding. Why is understanding important? Five reasons I will give here as far as scripture is concerned. Number one, understanding is key to success in life. Understanding. This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth. Joshua chapter 1 verse 8. But thou shalt meditate therein day and night to observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then sh thou shalt make thy way prosperous and then thou shalt have good success. To be successful, there must be understanding. To be outstanding in any field, there must be understanding. The understanding of medicine makes a very good medical doctor. The understanding of law makes a very good lawyer. The understanding of engineering makes a very good engineer. The understanding of music makes a very good musician. I'm talking about those who play on the instrument. Understanding is key to success. Number two, understanding undergirds behavior. It undergirds behavior. You meditate that you will observe to do. Understanding undergirds behavior. 
people behave to the best of their knowledge or understanding. It undergoes behavior. Don't blame people's behavior until you understand their understanding. <laughs> it under, undergoes behavior. The reason why we act differently is because we understand differently. Some people who are so, I mean, matured people acting like babies because of their level of understanding. Understanding undergirds behavior. It undergirds action. Even in our spiritual journey, we have different spiritual understandings, so we put forth different spiritual actions. Hallelujah. For example, we go out for crusades without taking a dime of offering. Neither do we go on air, Facebook, Twitter, this and that, begging for money because there is an understanding that there is a one who called us and the caller is big enough to, to provide for his work. Hallelujah. Understanding undergirds behavior. Number three, understanding is fuel for faith. People, people's faith operate at different levels because of different levels of understanding. In the Bible, in Romans chapter 10 and in verse 17, it says, so then faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So that hearing is, is the first hearing is, 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 the, is the knowledge. The second hearing is the understanding. Faith cometh by hearing and understanding the word of God. You hear and hear. You hear and understand. Then faith comes. Somebody say amen. So it's very, very important. Understanding is fuel for faith. Number four. Understanding is key to authority. Authority. People are authoritative to the degree of their understanding. First Corinthians, First Chronicles chapter 12 and in verse 32. First Chronicles chapter 12 verse 32. It said, and of the children of Issachar, which were men that had understanding of the times to know what Israel ought to do the heads of them were 200 and all their brethren were at their commandment. They had understanding so they are in command. They are in charge. Somebody say loud amen. Somebody say louder amen. Somebody shout the loud most amen. I once had a teacher in medical school, anatomy teacher then. This man will teach for about five hours without, I mean, let's say two hours without looking at any note. He's just talking, he will just take the nerve from the brain and just take it all the way and everything that is around, everything that is on top, above, below, left, right, center. He's just talking all the way. The man was so married to anatomy that he did not marry. <laughs> oh yeah, he had no wife. I don't know whether he married. I don't know whether he married for the rest of his life. Grew, became a prophet. He knew he was an authority on the matter. Our professor of physiology, who happened to be my father-in-law, outstanding authority on the subject. He passed physiology in second year in his time. Until they took him and gave him a degree, B.S.C. Physiology, before he finished medical school. <laughs> before he finished medical school. Say what? You, you know this thing? All right, come and write thesis. Do one, more, one year. He finished, got B.S.C. Physiology, continued medical school, finished with MBBS. So it's an authority. Anywhere you know something, you are an authority. When they say somebody is an army general, he knows things far more than the Lance Corporal knows. Far more than the Lieutenant knows. He has passed through different courses. Young officers course, junior division of uh, and then senior division, and then war college, and everything, everything, everything. All those things they are putting on their chest. 
It represents different things they have achieved. So if you want to be an authority, understand. You want to be a spiritual authority, you must have spiritual understanding. Somebody say a loud amen. That is why people are at different realms of command in the realm of the spirit because our understanding differs. Understand marriage, you are a marriage authority. Understand finances, you are a financial authority. Understand how money works, you are an authority financially. Whatever area where you have understanding, in that area, you effortlessly step in as an authority. I see authorities coming out of the world today. If you are saying amen, shout the Lord and say amen. If you are saying amen, shout the Lord and say amen. If you are saying amen, shout amen at the top of your voice. Understanding is key to authority and finally, understanding is key to favor. It appears as if the subject tonight is understanding. Is key to favor. Proverbs 13, 15. The Bible said, Good understanding giveth favor. But the way of the transgressors is hard. The way of the ignorant is hard. Good understanding gives favor. You want favor anywhere, understand. You want favor anywhere, understand. You want favor anywhere, understand. Anywhere you have, fa you have understanding in that place. You have favor. Somebody say a loud amen. Somebody say a louder amen. amen. Understand your husband. You will have husband favor. <laughs> Understand your wife. You will have wife favor. Understand God. You will have favor with God. Understand your work. You will have favor on the job. Understand God. You will have favor with God understand the word you will see too much favor out of the world any area you have favor in that area you have understanding having said all of this we are now going into understanding the word that bible what is the word of god about before i say i, I speak let me say first that the word of god is not just letters and it is not literature. Newspaper may be letters. Literature books may be letters. The word of God is not just letter. And it's not just literature. Furthermore, the word of God is not just mere information. It doesn't just come to inform. People may speak. And they are giving you information. People may speak as a form of communication. The word of God is not information. It's not mere information. It is not mere communication. It is not mere expression. This will change somebody's mind. What is the word of God? Number one. The word of God is the person of God. The word of God is the person of God. In the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. The word of God is not a communication. It's not letter. It's not literature, it's not communication, it's not expression. The word of God is a person. First Samuel chapter 3 and in verse 21, the Bible said, And the Lord appeared to us again, again in Shiloh. For the Lord revealed himself to Samuel. He appeared to Samuel in Shiloh by the word of the Lord. The word of the Lord to Samuel was the appearance of God. Samuel received the word and that word became an appearance. What does this mean to you? It means that God and his word are one. What God can do in person, the word. 
the word can do. If you have the word, you don't need to see God in person. Meaning that the word of God way equal like the God of the word. The word of God and the God of the word carry the same weight. Hallelujah. The word of God is the person of God. Number two, the word of God is the life of God. The life. The very life of God is transmitted through his word. John chapter 6 verse 63. He said, it is the spirit that quickeneth. The flesh profiteth nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. The word of God is the life of God. Ezekiel chapter, all right, Philippians chapter 2 and in verse 16. The Bible speaking concerning Philippians 2, 16, holding for the word of life. The word of God is the word of life. Is the, and that life is the life of God. First John chapter 1 and in verse 1, First John 1, 1, he said, that which was from the beginning, which we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes, which we have looked upon and our hands have handled, of the word of life, that which we have seen, declare we unto you. What's the meaning of that? What flows in God flows in his word. Every contact with the word is contact with his life. The life force of God is in his word. That is why the word can bring person back to life. What flows in God. You may not say that about a literature book. You may not say that about newspaper that they, the life of the of the of, of, of the author or the life of the newspaper columnist is inside the writing. You won't say that about any other religious book on earth. Hallelujah. The word of God is the life of God. What flows in God flows in his word. Number three, the word of God is the spirit of God. It is the spirit of God. We just read it that again in John 6, 63. It is the spirit that quickeneth. The flesh profiteth nothing. The words I speak to you, they are spirit and they are life. Ezekiel chapter 2 and in verse 2. Mahashatakala. And the spirit entered into me when he spake unto me. The spirit entered into me when he spake unto me. The spirit entered into me when he spake unto me. So, the word of God is the spirit of God. And what is the spirit of God about? The spirit of God is talking about unction. He's talking about the unction of God, of the spirit. He's talking about energy. He's talking about power. When you are in touch with word, you are in touch with energy. 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 Energy from heaven. When you are in touch with word, you are in touch with power from above. When you are in touch with word, you are in touch with oil, with unction, with anointing. I have noticed that the laying on of word can be more impactful than even the laying on of hands. Hallelujah. Somebody receiving anything here today, say amen. Somebody receiving anything from here today, shout the loudest, say amen. You are receiving anything from here today, shout the loud most, say amen. Number four, the word of God is the character of God. In the beginning was the word. The word was with God. The word was God. It's character. Psalm 33 and in verse 4. He said, for the word of the Lord is right and all his works are done in truth. Truth and righteousness are, are, are departments of character. Second Corinthians chapter 4 verse 2. When he's talking about the steward say, but we have renounced the hidden things of dishonesty. Not walking in craftiness, nor handling the word of God deceitfully. 
but by the manifestation of the truth, commending ourselves to every man's conscience in the sight of God. That is the word. It's the character of God. Contact with the word is contact with character. That is why the word shapes character. The character of God. The nature of God. Somebody say a loud amen. And how many of you know that your nature determines your future? You know that? That is why chimpanzee cannot contest local government election. They claim that he looks like a person. But he's not electable. No matter how much they teach him, even if he's speaking English. Will you vote for him? Nature limits future, limits use. No matter how desperate you are in Adoka, can you use what I am for Pandadiam? <laughs> I'm talking of those. Even in Boko, do they use what I am to do Pandadiam? The nature of what I am is different from normal I am. It limits its use. You can use it for frying and other, other things. <laughs> and, I, and there's a form of a car they use with it. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So it is very, very important to know that the word of God connects us with the character of God and that character of the nature of God determines our future. That is why the word of God transforms our lives because we are being brought into contact with the character of God. Number five, the word of God is the thought of God. The thought of God or actually the thought process of God. The word of God brings us into contact with how God thinks or reasons. In Isaiah chapter 55 and in verse 8 to verse 10, Isaiah 55, verse 8 all the way to verse 10, it says, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, saith the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. What are you talking about, Lord? For as the rain cometh down and the snow from heaven, and returneth not thither, but watereth the earth, and maketh it bring forth and bud, that it may give seed to the sower, and bread to the eater. So shall my word be, that goeth forth out of my mouth. So, this thought, and these ways he's talking about, is his word. The word of God, is the thought of God. That was why, in Luke chapter 11, verse 49, it is, it Therefore also said the wisdom of God. Talking about the word of God, he called it the wisdom of God. I will send them prophets and apostles. And some of them, they shall slay and persecute. The word of God is the thought process of God. That, was, that is how, that is, when you are in touch with the word, you are, your, your, your thought process is being processed to think like God. That is why the word of God makes wise. It makes wise. We will talk about that later. When we talk about the necessity of the word or the profit of the word, it makes wise because the word of God is the thought of God, the thought process of God. Anybody getting anything here tonight? Say amen. amen. Number six, the word of God is the ways of God. Ways. That is the ways of God or the steps of God. When you look at the word, you are, you are in touch with the steps of God, the action steps of God. How God moves, the kind of steps he takes. The word of God is the ways of God, is the steps of God. Isaiah chapter 55 and in verse 8 to 11 where we already read. My, my thoughts are not your thoughts and my ways are not your ways. And, and then we saw in verse 11 that he's talking about the word. So shall my word be. So the word is both the thought and also the ways of God. Psalm 119 and in verse 15, Psalm 119 and in verse 15, I will meditate in thy precepts, that is in your word, and have respect unto your ways. So the precepts of God are the container of the ways of God. Inside this book, you find out the steps God takes and how he moves. 
And in case you are his son, you can take some steps after your father. Make some moves after your father and get some results of your father. Psalm 103 and in verse 7. Psalm 103 verse 7. He has made known his ways to Moses and his acts unto the children of Israel. What ways did he make known to Moses? I'm sure you remember that Moses was the one he gave to write the book of Genesis and the book of Exodus and the book of Leviticus and the book of Numbers and the book of Deuteronomy. All these books. Moses was not there when God created the earth but God gave him the history of creation and described in detail what happened and showed him the picture. When he said and God said let there be like he was watching like a, fi a film a cinema. Right? God gave Moses his ways which was his word and out of those words came out the acts explosion of acts when you are in touch with his ways you command his acts those who are familiar with the ways of god become commanders of the acts of god i believe that there are people here today who will move in the realms of his ways and the realms of his acts you believe you are the one shout the loudest amen finally number seven the word of god is the will of god the word of God is the will of God. It unveils the will of God. The will. The plan. The purpose. What God wants. The word testament. Is legal. Meaning will. So when you read Old Testament. That's old will. New Testament. New will. Is the will of God. Micah chapter 4 and in verse 2. Micah chapter 4 and in verse 2. He said. And many nations shall come and say. Come and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord. And to the house of the God of Jacob. And he will teach us of his ways. And we will walk in his path. In his will. For, for the Lord shall go forth out of Zion. And the word of the Lord. From Jerusalem. Romans chapter 12. Verse 1 to 2, he said, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the message of the living God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, so that you'll be able to prove what is that good and acceptable and the perfect will of God. Renew your mind. And, and we renew our mind with the word. We renew our mind with the word. As newborn babies desire the sincere of the word. We renew our mind and then when we are renewing our mind with the word we are able to discern his will. Now James chapter 1 and in verse 18 James 1 verse 18 the Bible said of his own will he begat us. What was that will? With the word of truth. He begat us with his will, which is the word of truth. Hallelujah. Somebody say amen. amen. Look at your neighbor. Say if you, if, if you have the word, don't look for his will anymore. It is inside the word. Actually, God will lead you out of his word into his will on any subject. He may not, he may not mention the name of your wife. Or your husband in the Bible. But he will tell you, don't be unequally yoked together with unbeliever. Raw unbelievers, great is in his hand. Mouth is black like taba. <laughs> all right, all right. And you say, God, um, is that my husband? God say, you have no answer. The answer is already in the Bible. Lord, bless this alcohol business. God say for who? <laughs> Hallelujah. If you will abide by the written will, you will access the revealed will. If you will walk with what is written, he will unveil to you what you cannot find in the Bible. For example, should I go to Lagos, you won't be able to find it in the Bible. Alright? But out of that word, where he told you 
that as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God, the peace of God shall guard your heart. And you realize that you lost your peace when you wanted to travel. That is the word guiding you. That you have lost your peace no matter what. No movement. Somebody wanted to go for a, a, a funeral. Said everything inside the person says, I cannot go. Pray, 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 pray. No leading to go. Okay, went to the motor park to travel for, for journey of the morning from 7 a.m. by 3 p.m. Vehicle still has not moved. Lord, what are you saying? Lord is saying about turn back home. You will never find anywhere in the scripture where it is written. Thou must attend all funerals. Not that you are callous. But supposing the devil has planned a termination of life on the road. Between people blaming you that you didn't come for burial and you dying before your time. Which is better? Do you understand what I'm talking about? The only thing that is compulsory in this life is to go to heaven. Any other thing can be negotiated. The only thing that is compulsory. So, the word of God, please take your seat, is the container of the will of God in 1 John chapter 5 and in verse 14 and, and, and 15. He said, and this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, which is according to his word, he heareth us. According to his will means according to his word. Why do I know? Hosea chapter 14 verse 2. He said, take with you word and turn to the Lord. Take with you words and turn to the Lord and say unto him, take his word and go to him. We ask anything according to his will, which is his word, he hears us. I believe that everyone here tonight would be convinced from the foregoing presentation <laughs> that the word of God is far beyond literature, is far beyond paper is far beyond letters the word is the person of God the word is the person of God the word is the life of God the word of God is the spirit of God the word of God is the character of God the word of God is the thought process of God the word of God is the ways of God the word of God is the will of God what God wants to do is revealed in his word what God wants to do. You know what to pray about when you, when you know the word. What God wants to do. And what he wants us to do. They are contained in his word. What he wants to do. And what he wants us to do. All are contained in his word. Conclusion. Or counsel. Number one. Seek to encounter the word. Beyond the letter of the word. Seek to encounter the word of God beyond the letter of the word. Every time you come across the word, seek an encounter with the word beyond the letter of the word. Hosea chapter 6 and in verse 3, he said, then shall we know if we follow on to know the Lord. His going forth is prepared as the morning and it shall come to us as the rain, as the letter and the former rain unto the earth. When we press to know him, we get to know him. Persevere to know, to encounter the word of God beyond the letter of his word. Persevere, 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 persevere. My determination is to learn something and get something out of the word every day. Both the word that is written and then the word that is preached. I'm listening to messages of 12, 13 years ago that myself preached. It's setting me on fire afresh. I'm listening to testimonies, illustrations that were made in, that, in, that, in, in those messages. What I just said about Baboon now, I spoke about it about 11, 12 years ago. Yes. You, you can't remember. 
the same illustration just now with the pound of the arm and the You understand what I'm saying? It, it, just, it just happened to come in here. Just, just now. When the word is coming to you, it's coming with life. Just make up your mind. Be determined to encounter the word of God beyond the letter of the word. You will be walking on cloud nine. You will be, you will just, you will just, you will just be in a realm where the devil will be looking at you afar and he can do nothing to you. Number two, approach the world prayerfully to experience the wonders of the world. Approach the word of God prayerfully to encounter the wonders of the world. Be desperate and then be prayerful. Psalm 1 1 8 and in verse 19 he said 1 1 9 verse 18 open thou my eyes that I may behold wondrous things out of your law Lord let me just let me not just encounter the letter give me access 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 not just to the letter access to the content and what the word carries someone here tonight this month shall not expire until you have encountered the word in a way you have never encountered before one day i was about to preach in port harcourt a church there I was to preach on the subject in the beginning. I read that passage. That is Genesis chapter 1 and in verse 1. I don't know how many times I've said this. Then I slept in the night in preparation for the morning. And then I began to see a revelation. A slight idea of what it looked like. Before let there be light. Real raw. You know there are many things we can't talk about. For the avoidance of misunderstanding. When he said the earth was without form and void. It was it's indescribable. Tohu vabohu. That's a Hebrew expression. That was the word that translated literal. When the Bible said, the, and the word was made flesh. It was, it was, it became literal. I preached that morning with an understanding beyond. It was as if the Holy Ghost took the word and brought the picture. That's why I, I just prayed for you now. That before this month is over, God will give you a word encounter that will place a deposit in your life. If you are saying amen, say louder amen. If you are saying amen, stand on your feet with the loudest shout of amen. The loudest shout of amen. And it is important that I, I believe it was Revelation chapter 5 from verse 1. Can you place on the screen? And I saw on the right hand. All right, move on. Oh, chapter 4. And I wept much because chapter 4, chapter 4. After this, I looked and behold, a door was opened in heaven and the voice voice which I heard was as it were of a trumpet talking with me. We said, come up hither and I will show thee things which must be hereafter. And immediately I was in the spirit and behold, the throne was set in heaven and one sat on the throne. And he that sat was to look upon like a jasper and sardine stone and there was a rainbow around about the throne in sight like an, unto an emerald. 
Around about the throne were four and twenty seats, and upon the seats I saw four and twenty elders sitting, clothed in white raiment, and they had on their heads crowns of gold. And out of the throne proceeded lightnings and thunderings and voices, and there were seven lamps of fire burning before the throne, which are the seven spirit of God. And before the throne were a sea of glass unto Christ. And in the midst of the throne and round about the throne were four beasts full of eyes before and behind. And the first beast was like a lion, the second a beast like a calf, the third beast a face of a man, and the fourth beast was like a flying eagle. That fourth beast. I was on my table in my study room um, at home and was studying that passage and looking. All of a sudden, it was as if a screen was open. One of they, they moved in, in succession, but I'm having a restaurant about talking about this, so I'll reserve it. In full color. That is like, see what you are reading? Have a little picture of it. It's real. It exists. I wish I can have that kind of encounter and experience all the time. But God doesn't give it all the time. That is, this is real. It happened. Just a little test. Rapid succession. I pray that before this month is over. It is not necessarily a visionary encounter, a revelationary or, 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 or a, a dream encounter, but an encounter with the world where it will be clear to you that what you are reading is real and it will do something to your life. It will do something to your destiny. If you are saying amen, say it louder, amen. If you are saying amen, say it louder, amen. If you are saying amen, shout the loudest believers, say amen. Lift up your hands. Appreciate him. Honor him. Adore him. Worship him. Glorify him. Father, we worship you. Father, we honor you. Father, we adore you. Father, we magnify you. Father, we magnify you. Father, we magnify you. Father, we glorify you. Father, we praise you. Be glorified, be honored, and be adored in the name of Jesus Christ. Lift your hands and say after me, say, Father, I receive the grace to seek your word beyond the letter of the word. Of the word. I receive the grace, the grace to seek you and seek your words beyond the letter of the word. I receive that grace now. Open your mouth and pray. In the name of Jesus, lift your hands and your voice and say after me, say, Father, I approach your word on the platform of prayer. Grant me the grace to experience the wonders of your word. In the name of Jesus, I approach the word in prayer. Grant me the grace to experience the wonders of your word. 
Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Go ahead, open your mouth and pray. I approach your wall on the platform of prayer. Grant me the grace to experience the wonders of your word, Lord. In the name of Jesus, lift up your two hands. I perceive an encounter even right now. An impartation, an impact based on the word you just heard. Get your hands in expectation. Sing in majesty, majesty. Sing in majesty, majesty. Forever I am king. Forever I am changed by your love. In the presence.
چه هزار Everywhere you are, shut up. Feel his presence. Feel his presence. Feel his presence. See his glow. See his glow. Get ready to receive something. An impartation at all. Thank you. Say in the name of Jesus. You place your hands in heaven. Because there is an encounter, there is a visitation, there is a transformation that is far beyond healing, beyond money, beyond everything. He will visit you with his word to show you his word is person. He's real. It's his life. Get your hands high. When I say in the name of Jesus. One, two, three. You scream, I receive. I place the hand on your head. Receive his visitation. Receive his encounter. He's already visiting and touching and changing people's lives. In the name of Jesus, one, two, and three. Receive. 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 Receive.
someone a, a, a deposit of impartation a shift of life to another level an encounter a visitation just happened to you i saw afflictions run out and the word of god becoming real in someone's life I also saw a, a, an arrow on the on the on the on the right hand side of the chest retrieved and refired back to hell lower back and waist condition also retrieved and refired back to hell it's a new season. In the name of Jesus, wave your hands and give the Lord the praise. A change of story just happened. A visitation just happened. A change of story just happened. If you came in here this morning, this evening, something happened to you. God gave you a visitation just now. Or you got a healing from any of the things I mentioned. Quickly step forward here and let us hear from you what has happened. Quickly step forward here. While they are coming forward, I like the communion to be distributed around. And then we'll proceed. Give the Lord the praise. Holy, your name is holy. Your name is holy, Lord. and your name is holy, Lord. Oh, your name is holy. Your name is holy, Lord. Your name is holy.
Just now, the word of God cannot be opened to you if you don't belong to Him. You must be a newborn babe so that the sincere milk of the word can apply to you. Anywhere you are tonight in need of surrender to Jesus, quickly pick your Bible's bags, step forward, and let us receive you. You are saying, Pastor can come right on this side here. I just heard the word of God and I need that life of God in me. I've been living my own life. I've been living the way I want. I want to be forgiven my sins. I want Jesus to be Lord over my life. I want today to mark a new day for me. I'll give you the account of seven while they sing that song. Or you want to rededicate your life to Jesus. Or you want an addiction broken. You want a bondage broken. Negative lifestyle. Drunkenness, smoking, Marijuana, gambling, fraud, lesbianism, bestiality, homosexuality, whatever it is, you know God is not happy with you and you want that life to be over now. I'll give you the count of seven. Quickly rush to the frontier. And if you want to rededicate your life to Jesus, you've given your life before, but you know that you want to be taken. Give the Lord a big clap as you come. Right here, direct them right here. Your name is holy. Your name is holy, Lord. Sing your name is holy. Right to Jesus. Quickly, quickly. Your name is holy. Your name is holy. Your name is holy. Quickly. Your name is holy. all of you in the front. Pray this prayer after me and say, Lord Jesus, I am a sinner in need of your help. Come into my life. Make me a new person. Today I have decided to follow you, Lord. No turning back. From today, I go forward ever. Backward, never. The grace to live for you, Lord, I receive it. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. I pray for you today. I declare the hold of sin broken. Help from above is released upon you. In Jesus' precious name, amen. Counselors, will you go with the, with the people? I think they can sit with you for now. 
until we take the communion. God bless you. Pastor, let me know what's happening. Yes, sir. Our brother said he's had a running battle with migraine headaches that comes at some specific um, period of a number of years. He said he came into this service in that condition. He has battled with that condition for a couple of years. But at the shout of I receive, he felt a very cold sensation on his head and the headache checked back to hell. Congratulations. Every come forward, every spell from hell is broken off your life. In Jesus' name. This sister said she was diagnosed in the month of March with urinary tract infection, was given all manner of medications, but it wasn't, um, there was no respite. Terrible waste condition. But while God's servant declared that God was healing people of chest pain and also waste conditions, she said all of a sudden she re re realized that there was a drastic relief. She came Jesus to church and had been sitting all the while. Arrow. Back to hell in Jesus' name. Sister said she often sees herself in the village, back in the village, and that had orchestrated all manner of backwardness, nothing working, her business, nothing working. But in the midst of the intense ministration this evening, she saw God's servant appear to her and began to remove old garments, rags from her, and replace that with a white garment. Hallelujah. She knows it's a change it's of story for her. I speak to everyone here today, every satanic garbage or package in your life is set on fire in the name of Jesus. Jesus Christ is called the word. In the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. And so as it is now, we are about to practically, literally take the word into our body. I pray that it will be an explosion of revelation. An explosion of experience with God after tonight. As well as anything my Father in heaven has not planted in your life, be flushed out in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Before we do that, stretch your two hands in front of you. We we'll take the communion out of the way. Father, sorry, the offering. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray upon everyone's hand and I ask today that the harvest of every giver will look for them from the north, the south, the east, and the west. In the name of Jesus, systems are put under pressure to lose their peace and sleep and rest until what is yours enters your hands. And I declare it is done in Jesus' name. Amen. Give the Lord a shout of praise. Pick up your offerings and tithe pledges. Everybody walk, walk, watching from the United Kingdom, including those at home here in Nigeria, do your last minute invitation for the Glory Conference in the UK. Those who have invited before, remind them that it is starting tomorrow. And let them remind those they have invited. It's going to be a most explosive time in God's presence tomorrow in London, England. The earth shall be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord as the waters cover the seas. In Jesus' precious name, go ahead and do the registration. Commanding the day night prayer is on back tonight here and transmitting fire. Somebody say fire. That is the theme for tonight. It's raw fire impartation and fire explosion. Tomorrow night will be transmitting from London. Friday will be transmitting from London. And on Saturday will be transmitting from Nigeria. Somebody say amen. Lift up your offerings. Father, multiply the harvest back to every giver. Let the hands lifted. Never drop to beg forever. In Jesus' name. Celebratiously drop the offerings. Once you are done, then we'll be upstanding with our um, communion. And then be set to move. Coming Sunday, we have an anointing service. We are trusting the Lord that the word of God will become real in our lives by the power of the word in the name of Jesus Christ. Ensure that you are there and God bless you. You have given your offerings. You can stand up immediately. You are worthy of all of You are
in Jesus' precious name. I dedicate this as the very life of Jesus, the one who is the word. Take the word practically into you. The word that is also light. Every trace of darkness in your system be flushed out. This is healing for every affliction. This is deliverance from every bondage. This is breakthrough from every limitation. This is life against every attack of death. In the name of Jesus. And this fresh dimension of wisdom. Access to unction. So shall it be. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Holy Ghost. Shout the Lord amen. amen. Go on ahead and take that communion and take it with full faith. By your blood, oh Lord. By your blood. and a shout of praise be up standing hands uplifted and in the name of jesus be released in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy ghost the lord bless you keep you can i hear a louder amen, amen. the lord cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you in the name of jesus i declare today a new day a new season fresh help fresh grace and fresh mercy in jesus precious name may the word of god encounter you overnight and when next we see you, we see you with your testimonies. Shout the loudest, amen. amen. First time as newcomers, please step forward and let's receive you. And those intending to be members of the church. And April weddings are here uh, this coming Saturday. Explosive time uh, before God in men and women getting to the altar. Get to know them. If you have anything to say about the relationships or the marriages, you say it before that day or don't appear on that day at all. Because there are some, at times, some devils that will only appear on the wedding day. Excuse me. <laughs> Stand up on your feet. Be released now in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. The Lord bless you, keep you, cause his face to shine upon you. In Jesus' precious name. Say a louder amen. 2024, and above only, 2024 and above only god bless you greet five on your way out god bless you hallelujah Counselors, please attend to them.